Almost anything that you can imagine finding on land can also get lost in the ocean. Sometimes really enormous stuff like cities and aircraft carriers can simply plop down beneath the waves and become instantly lost and forgotten, sometimes for thousands of years. It's remarkable what might be lurking beneath the water that is yet to be discovered, but for now, let's take a look at some of the unusual stuff we have found out there. From a spooky river that literally flows under the sea to a couple of vintage locomotives mysteriously ditched miles from land, here are 20 strangest things found by deep sea divers. Number 20. Ancient Egypt's Greatest Lost City Back in the year 2000, divers made an astonishing discovery in the waters off the coast of Egypt in the Mediterranean Sea. It was the lost city of Heracleion, also known as Thonis, which had laid underwater and undisturbed for more than 2,000 years. This legendary lost city has its origins as far back as the 12th century BC, which is an incredibly long time ago. It's also really, really old and has many links to the other great civilization of the era, ancient Greece. Archaeologists believe that the city was lost to the sea as a result of a combination of earthquakes and tsunamis, as well as the issue we share in our modern world, rising sea levels. The great buildings of the city were likely taken by the waters when it experienced a great flood at around the end of the 2nd century BC. Many structures would have collapsed under the pressure of the water, and huge areas of the city would be lost. It's believed that some residents may have stayed in the few remaining parts of the city during the Roman era and the early days of Arab rule, but it continued to disintegrate and was completely taken by the Mediterranean by the end of the 8th century AD. The remains of this once great city are currently located about one and a half miles off the coast, but as we experience our own rising waters, just how far out they'll end up is anybody's guess. Perhaps it's time to start building that boat. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. And now it's time for the fancy topic. If you were to set out for a spot of scuba diving one warm, sunny afternoon, what would you be hoping to come across? Perhaps a picturesque shipwreck, or a coral reef, or some interesting fish, perhaps? What you are unlikely to anticipate is the apparent form of a flipping xenomorph just hanging out under the water in the Black Sea off the coast of Russia. That would be pretty weird. But apparently, that is what some divers discovered. Although very little is known about how, or indeed why, this alien is in the shallows of this place, it's a surefire way to get properly spooked on your otherwise relaxing dive. What do you think has happened here? Is this evidence of some sort of invasion? Or perhaps a movie fan took a wrong turn with their memorabilia? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below using the hashtag fancy topic. And now, on to the next one. Number 19. Antikythera Shipwreck Yields Bronze Arm now, generally speaking, the discovery of a severed arm in the sea is not really something to get people jumping up and down about. Well, not in a good way, anyway. But this particular severed arm had archaeologists across the world dancing around their kitchens since it marked the potential discovery of a hugely significant haul of ancient treasure that would be stuffed full of lovely historical facts. The bronze arm, which was stained green and all crusty with undersea stuff from its centuries in the water, apparently pointed to the existence of seven priceless statues of great importance and may help marine archaeologists locate the remaining lost artifacts. This arm was discovered, buried beneath a couple of feet of sediment, near a huge ancient shipwreck off the Greek island of Antikythera. Many treasures have been brought up from the shipwreck, but so much still remains secret down there. 
partly as a result of a huge and inconvenient heap of massive boulders. These big rocks rest on top of the site, most likely dumped there in an earthquake all the way back in the 4th century AD. Nonetheless, these history experts are simply thrilled to bits to have finally found themselves a lovely green arm to write home about. It's just what they always wanted. Number 18. Hidden Underwater River Flowing Under the Ocean in Mexico This extraordinary and unique place has such an ethereal beauty about it, and it just doesn't make any sense. How can there be an underwater river? Just the notion of it's a head-scratcher. This place does indeed exist, though, and it is quite stunning, if a little tricky to access. Located in Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, the secret underwater river known as Cenote Angelita can be found about 15 minutes drive south of Tulum. The way this thing works is apparently a sciency thing involving a thin layer of hydrogen sulfate that then separates the salt water from the fresh water. This is how the river maintains its own flow and form and gives the whole scene a spooky and surreal feeling. This particular river also has proper riverbanks with trees and plants growing alongside, so it really appears like a river that has somehow been submerged beneath the ocean. Number 17. The Sunken Roman City of Baia this place may have felt the cleansing waters of time washing away the filthy sins of its past, but the Roman city of Baia was one of the most notoriously hedonistic places in all of the Roman Empire and played host to the debauched whims of the wealthy elite for centuries. It still does bear some evidence of its time as a party city, but has been hidden from view beneath the waves since the 1500s. Baia was uniquely positioned on natural volcanic vents, which then created the healing hot springs that the city was famous for. It was hugely popular during Roman times, but declined in the years after the height of the empire and was eventually sacked in the 8th century by a Muslim army. It would then be abandoned by the year 1500, and the waters began to rise. So those same volcanic vents that had made the city so fun were now reclaiming it for the sea. The ancient remains of this remarkable city sit under the shallow waters of the bay and can be visited in glass-bottomed boat tours through the ancient streets. It's also a favorite spot for snorkeling, diving, and swimming, and gives a beautiful view into this moment of the ancient past. Number 16. Wreckage of World War II Aircraft Carrier Found in the South Pacific The USS Hornet was an aircraft carrier that saw active duty during World War II. It played a pivotal role in the Battle of Midway and many other significant events, and oddly enough, considering the size of such vessels, the precise location of the wreck of the Hornet had remained a mystery until 2019, more than 75 years after the ship sank to the bottom of the ocean. Using a combination of data research, by looking deep into the naval archives and accounts of the events of a team of researchers, they were able to pinpoint an area that they believe the Hornet may have been located. They would then travel out to the site and did the final part of the search in the research vessel Petrol. Their examination of the site has returned photographs of the wreckage with weapons and such still intact all these years after it was sunk by Japanese forces at the Battle of Santa Cruz Island. Number 15. Spanish Gold Coins Worth Millions Found Off Florida Coast being a treasure hunter is genuinely a bona fide job, although most of the time it's fraught with disappointment and is a generally underwhelming retrieval operation. Rather than a movie-esque journey through caverns lined with glittering golden artifacts, but perhaps the thing that drives these treasure hunters onwards is the hope of a life-changing haul of loot glinting on the ocean floor. 
This team of treasure hunters in Florida were diving off of Florida's east coast when they came across the gold glittering in shallow waters near Vero Beach. They were searching here as they had previously been lucky with a haul that was close by, and they never expected to find this gleaming cache of rare 18th century coins. Somewhat spookily, this treasure can be traced back to the wrecking of a fleet of ships that would be voyaging through a treacherous hurricane on the exact same day 300 years previously. Coins found in the hoard included some extremely rare pieces known as Royal Eight Escudos. It was these in particular that made this find so very valuable indeed. The discovery of 350 coins came to an astonishing total value of $4.5 million. Number 14. Functioning cell phone returned to owner after nearly six months at bottom of Harrison Lake. Given the ease with which I seem to be able to dink the corners of my phone or smash the screen for that matter if I'm being honest, it seems hard to believe that a phone of such a similar sort would be able to withstand the conditions at the bottom of a lake for six months and then still function. Who knew? A woman by the name of Fatima Godsi from Vancouver had dropped her iPhone 11 in the water at Harrison Lake all the way back at the end of the summer when she had been riding on bumper boats at that location. Generally, when a piece of technology falls in a body of water, it's pretty much a given that it's a done deal for you and you're extremely unlikely to ever see it again, let alone use it. So when she received a text nearly six months later from somebody who said that they had found her phone, she was convinced that they couldn't be telling the truth or correct. But there was no other explanation, so then off she went to collect the lost phone, and could not believe that when she received it, it was actually still working. That's nothing shy of a miracle, for sure. Number 13. Yonaguni Monument, Japan's Lost Atlantis. It's kind of surprising just how many cities of history have fallen foul of the unpredictable waterline and found themselves submerged in the rising waters of the sea. Seems as though every country has one, and this is Japan's. There's a submerged ancient cities in the water just off of Yonaguni Yima in Japan. It's believed that the city was submerged about 2,000 years ago when an earthquake struck the area and sunk the city. A marine geologist named Masaki Kamura has been methodically measuring and documenting the ancient remains for over 15 years and has been deepening his understanding of the site. He now believes that the city is 5,000 years old, containing numerous structures that are, he believes, proof of a civilization that once lived there. But apparently not everyone in the marine archaeology community is inclined to believe that this was the case. Some have even put forward theories that this is an entirely natural structure that has no evidence that humans built any of it whatsoever. So there are two rather opposing views, and a whole boatload of controversy. That's what makes a more juicy Lost City story anyway, isn't it? What do you think? Is it a city or a naturally formed phenomenon? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Number 12. Underwater Crucifix in Petoskey Sometimes the best way to make a tourist attraction is to chuck a massive crucifix in a lake and then let word spread about the eerie underwater sight. You can add an origin story as you go along, drawing together whichever sorts of elements seem best suited to the audience that's being drawn to the attraction. And, you know, that's one way to do it. I'm sure that isn't at all what happened here, though. There's an 11-foot-tall crucifix carved from white Italian marble in the water of Little Traverse Bay, Petoskey, Michigan. It's been there since 1962, and the story of how it came to be there is as murky as lake water. The stories seem to center around several different tragic incidents, all of which have some claim over the underwater shrine. First is that it is in memory of Charles Raymond, who drowned in Torch Lake. Then there's the notion that it honors all those who have perished at sea. 
Furthermore, the crucifix itself is said to have been created to memorialize the loss of a 15-year-old boy who was killed in an accident in 1956, and the cross was then brought from Italy to the United States but was damaged, so it was rejected for the purposes of the boy's family and then allegedly sold to a local dive club, which is when it was first plopped into the bay. About 20 years later, the dive club tried to salvage the cross and give it a little boost. Lights would be added to illuminate it from below, and it's still available to view even now although who knows what its purpose truly is. However, statues do look spooky underwater, so that's okay. Number 11. A Terrifying Underwater Shark Statue at Lake Noosh Now when you thought that it was safe to go back into the water, some joker chucks a shark statue in there, and before you know it, you're back in therapy. Lake Neuchâtel in Switzerland has been giving people a rather rude surprise in the murky depths of its waters. Someone with a wicked sense of humor has been mucking about with an especially toothsome shark statue which looms and leers from deep below the surface. Now, if you're a little on the nervous side or suffer from a heart condition, this could actually finish you off. So beware of what's in the water. Is that just someone's idea of a rubbish joke? Or could it be the glint of an errant great white's smile, grinning as it opens its jaws to devour you whole? Number 10. Jason Statue at the Bottom of a Lake in Arizona Again, with all of these hilarious jokers chucking things into lakes all over the show, this time a diver plopped a really scary Jason Voorhees statue into Lake Pleasant in Arizona. This is more than enough to give you the sort of nightmares that will take years and thousands of dollars worth of therapy to recover from. The diver who put it there has explained himself, stating that many divers place unusual objects or markers in places that they dive partly as a kind of personal project, but also as something of interest for the diving community. He said that they almost all knew it was there, so it was unlikely to give anyone an instant heart attack. But I don't know though, if you happened upon any kind of human shape in the dark depths of a lake, it would probably give you the willies, wouldn't it? Least of all, as if it was dressed like the psycho killer from Friday the 13th. Ugh. Oh. Number 9. Akaba's New C-130 Hercules Wreck Now what do you do if you have no interesting wrecks in your piece of the ocean, but you want to attract divers and wildlife to the area? Well, that's when you sink a C-130 Hercules to the bottom of the sea completely on purpose. You can even have a sinking ceremony with a brass band if you like. Oh, such fun! So the waters just off the coast of Aqaba in Jordan have become the final resting place of a large aircraft put there entirely on purpose to promote diving in the area. There's even a macabre sight of a skeleton pilot in the cockpit just to give you an appropriate jump scare. The eerie sight of an aeroplane resting on the seafloor is no less spooky, really, even if it didn't crash to its doom. There is something inherently unsettling about anything man-made once it's settled in underwater, and this is no exception. This wreck has been carefully cultivated to provide a specific experience to the divers who visit the site, and has been mood lit and positioned for optimum safety as well as ambiance. Oh, how authentic. Number 8. Teen with GoPro Solves 27-Year Mystery A cold case from 27 years ago was finally solved when a whole bunch of things all came together at just the right time, as is the way of such things. A young Canadian lad was intrigued by the story that he had heard that there was a shiny object in the lake near his family's holiday home. He then went out on a paddleboard, armed with his GoPro camera to have a closer look. And it was there that indeed a shiny thing was deep down in the water. Further intrigued, he had begun to discuss the find with other people who happened to be around the area, and there was a notion that the shiny thing could be a car from an incident that had occurred in 2009 when a minivan ditched into the lake and its four passengers had been rescued. 
But it turned out that the vehicle from 2009 had also been recovered from the lake, so this had to be something else. A little more probing and another incident. This time, a missing persons case came to light. A woman named Janet Ferris had been driving to a wedding all the way back in 1992 when she suddenly disappeared without a trace. It transpired that her route may have been close by. The boy with the GoPro and the curiosity had found a car that had been missing for 27 years. Sadly though, the body of Ferris was also discovered inside, and the mystery would finally be solved. Number 7. Divers Find Truck Linked to 1993 Missing Persons Case a couple of divers out in the murky water of the marina in Hat Rock State Park in Oregon were searching for a lost propeller when out of the gloom there appeared a truck submerged 20 feet below the surface. The divers memorized the number plate and on returning to the surface would contact the authorities who were surprised to be able to link the truck to a missing persons case from all the way back in 1993. Upon closer inspection, the truck was found to contain identification for a man named Maynard Cohen who had gone missing without a trace that same year. There were also skeletal remains in the vehicle, but police were not confident that the identification process would be that that easy. It seemed as though putting two and two together, most people were likely to assume that they had indeed found the final resting place of the missing man. The divers never did find the missing propeller, but at least they helped solve a 26-year-long mystery and hopefully offered some peace to a grieving family. Number 6. Giant Jellyfish the Size of a Human Spotted by Divers Off English Coast it was the summer of 2019 when divers in the waters off the coast of Falmouth in the UK spotted an extremely rare and rather beautiful sight, a jellyfish that was the size of a human swimming alongside them. Now, jellyfish are not that unusual along the beaches of the UK, but they are generally of the small, wobbly, washed up variety that gets poked with a stick by every curious passing child. To see one of this size in its natural environment and, well, still alive, was quite the experience for these diving people. This was a barrel jellyfish, which are the largest of the jellyfish species in British coastal waters, but even so, this was an especially large example. They generally grow to around 3.2 feet in length and weigh up to around 55 pounds, but the supersized one was as big as a human and all the more fascinating for it. Number 5. Divers Come Face to Face with Giant Sunfish in Rare Encounter Sunfish are the world's largest bony fish, and they're quite an unusual thing to encounter so up close. These divers found themselves in the unusual position of swimming alongside a massive example of this unusual fish in the warm waters off the coast of Portugal. The colossal sunfish in this footage has the trademark startled expression and oddly shaped bulbous head that is characteristic of the species. The remarkable footage was shot by photographer Miguel Pereira and he uploaded it to the internet to share with all the world. And as you can surely imagine, Everyone was pretty jazzed about it. Eating the sunfish small fry by comparison. The docile but creepy looking sunfish just seems to have been utterly uninterested in all the kerfuffle it had created and continues on its slow and spooky journey looking for jellyfish to snaffle. Number 4. Train Graveyard Lost in the 1850s Has Been Discovered in New Jersey. The spooky sight of two lost locomotives in the water about five miles off the coast of New Jersey has given local history people a new mystery to ponder. Just how this patch of sea became the final resting place for a couple of trains from the 1850s is quite the head-scratcher. There are a couple of theories, though. Either the two steam trains were being transported when they accidentally ditched into the sea, or they were deliberately pushed into the water perhaps to prevent the vessel transporting them from sinking or capsizing. 
there was certainly never any railway all the way out at sea. The locomotives are well preserved as they sit 90 feet below the surface. They've sustained a lot of rust, which you would expect after 160 years sitting deep underwater, but their forms remain and they're still of interest as examples of steam engines of that era. Oddly, they are both alongside one another on the seabed, sat upright as if pulled into a station together. Number 3. 10,000-year-old skeleton discovered in underwater Mexican cave. Caves in southern Mexico that were once on land are now submerged under deep water, and they're full of secrets and stories that can reveal things from human history as far back as 10,000 years ago. The bones of a young woman that have been dated to around 10,000 years ago have given scientists studying the area some clues about her short and hard life, as well as the history of the first people of America. The sinkhole cave in the Yucatan Peninsula, where her remains were discovered, have offered up some nine additional skeletons in recent finds by scientists. These bones would suggest that humans were already living in the area as far back as 12,000 years ago, which was earlier than they had previously established. The young woman's bones have been dated to approximately 9,900 years ago and show that she ate a high sugar diet and died at around the age of 30 years old. They could also ascertain that she had received three significant skull injuries in her lifetime and had also suffered from a bacterial infection, although they were unable to establish what actually caused her demise. Number 2. A U.S. submarine lost during World War II may have been found by divers in Southeast Asia. The U.S. Navy lost a whole lot of hardware during World War II, and some of it has just been sitting around on the ocean floor ever since, with nobody entirely certain of exactly where to find it. This group of divers believe that they've discovered the wreckage of a U.S. Navy submarine that was lost over 75 years ago in the seas off of Southeast Asia. There are ways and means of identifying lost U.S. naval vessels, so the dive team documented their discovery and sent all the pictures and such to the United States Naval History and Heritage Command in order to be verified. The vessel in question, the USS Grenadier, is a submarine that was 1,475 tons and 93 meters long, just one of a total of 52 American submarines that were lost during the war. The Grenadier was scuttled by its crew after Japanese bombs almost sank the vessel. All 76 of the crew on board would survive the incident, but they were then taken prisoner and held in Japanese POW camps for more than two years. The conditions were appalling, and they were subjected to beatings, torture, and starvation, and four men didn't survive the camp. Number 1. Apollo Rocket Engines Discovered on Ocean Floor Amazon CEO and creep lord Jeff Bezos is obsessed with space. His obsession has now branched out into space travel and plans to colonize the moon or some such evil Bond villain-style scheme are coming into fruition. But prior to the latest space tourism jaunts, his interest in the space program meant that he was like any other nerd out there, he just had a bigger budget. So when Bezos decided that he wanted to find the lost Apollo rockets from the 1960s and 70s, he then set up a privately funded project to search the globe for their whereabouts. The rockets that were used as the boosters for the first stages of an Apollo rocket launch were designed to power up and then fall away from the rocket. They would then tumble back down to Earth and the Apollo craft would continue skyward. Many Apollo rockets were launched in the heyday of space travel in the late 60s and early 70s, and many of those engines did their duty and then plopped into the ocean never to be seen again. They were believed lost forever. That was until Bezos brought his big bucks and recovery project on board. Nobody's exactly sure why he wanted to retrieve the items, but some do speculate that it was simply that he could, so he did. Whatever the motivation, it turns out that money does indeed get the wheels greased, and the engines were found and recovered in 2012. Following a two-year-long renovation period, the pieces are now on display at Seattle's Museum of Flight.
There is such a lot of stuff cluttering up the ocean floor, isn't there? It's quite incredible what there is out beneath those waves. What else might we yet discover? And do we really want to? Are you partial to a spot of diving yourself? Or have you ever fished something weird out of your pond? Let me know all about your underwater discovery stories in the comments below. Also, be sure to check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.